you are tuning in to spiritual talk tarot with miss kitty 11 11 hello you all welcome to spiritual talk tarot 11 11 and i am your tarot reader mrs kitty Tonight on Spiritual Talk Terror 1111, we are going to be reading for the Zodiac Sign Sagittarius. Yes, the Zodiac Sign Sagittarius. The man with the arrow. So let's see what Cubic about to shoot out for me. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on. Okay, Spirit, talk to me. Not like that, Spirit. We're not about to start this. We just did this with the Scorpio. Come on, Spirit. Let's see, Spirit. Talk to me. Two. Okay, we have the queen, I mean the king of wands in a reverse. We have the four of wands in a reverse. We have the eight of wands in an upright. We have the king of cups in an upright. I mean the knight of cups in an upright, I'm sorry. We have the ace of wands in a reverse. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse. We have the Four of Pentacles in the upright. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. We have the King of Pentacles in the upright. And we have the Three of Wands in the upright with the Queen of Wands in the upright. We have a lot of ones on this, so we are really talking about a fire sign session, Terrace. I'm hearing partnership. I don't know why I'm keep hearing partnership. Partnership that's not working. I'm getting partnership that's not working. Something is not working. Even though I see nothing but communication and a lot of um, fire energy, I see someone. I see someone that is taking charge to go into some direction. But I see someone who is waiting. Who pull back? Someone is waiting. Now we got the King of Wands in reverse. So the King of Wands in reverse, that's someone who's like a player. You know? Someone who's playing games. Someone who will tell you what you need to hear, but all the while, they don't mean it. 
They're just someone who just like to have fun and, in other words, listen to, like to hear themselves talk. When the queen, I mean, the king of wands in reverse, this is someone who's a player, someone who's slick, someone who's good at telling you what you want to hear, but don't deliver. Then a playful move, someone who want to go out. And we got the, the four of wands in the reverse too. The four of wands in the reverse always talking about like, some people look at that like a, a marriage call, like, you know, y'all married, y'all about to get married, an engagement call. They also look at it like a, um, like a twin flame call too. They look at it like that too. So this is what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on a twin flame relationship. This is what I'm picking up. I'm picking up on a twin flame relationship. But this is not your normal twin flame relationship. I'm picking up on one of y'all twin flame is somebody Sagittarius, I don't know if you the twin flame or your twin flame, but y'all twin flame are married. Your twin flame is married, but your twin flame is not happy in a marriage. I think this twin flame is in a marriage where it just nothing but financial wealth. Like it's like they built wealth with each other. I'm picking up on a twin flame that built a life with someone else. And even though they built their life with someone else, it's like they are not really happy with this person. I'm picking up someone who's not happy. I'm picking up someone who's just not happy with the whole situation, period. Now, I see the king of, I mean, the knight, I don't know why I keep saying, the knight of cups. The knight of cups is someone coming in with an offer. They're not slow as the pinnacle, but they're not fast as the knight of um, swords. They're coming in, but they're coming in with an offer. They're coming in on an offer, but they can't be coming into this offer with the marriage because this person is already married, so they don't have to come with no offer. I think whoever this is, Sagittarius, or uh, is you or uh, whoever it is, y'all trying to give y'all offer an uh, offer to y'all twin flame. Y'all thinking about it with the three of wands. Y'all thinking about giving an offer to y'all twin flame. But I think you keep going back and forth in your head with the ace of wands in reverse about this offer. I think you're going in your head <clears throat> back and forth about this offer. So you've been holding tight with the four of pentacles on uh, your, whoever this person been holding back with the offer but they've been thinking about it whoever this is been thinking about it whoever this is want to come in fast they want to come in fast with this offer but they are, are they know they are in a marriage we got the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles in the upright so this person is in a marriage but if you look at these cards, the queen looking this way and the king looking that way. They are looking at their, at their pinnacles, but they're not looking at each other. So y'all have built. Whoever this is, they have built a relationship or a marriage with someone. They built a marriage with someone. But I think it's boring with the four of swords in reverse. I think this marriage is boring. I don't think 
they incite each other. It's something about this is not incitement. And I think whoever this is is looking at someone with the king of wands in reverse. This person is looking to have fun. I think their marriage probably will be this boring marriage. I think it's a boring marriage where, you know, they probably have a lot. They probably, you know, people look up to them or people look at them, but it's boring. Like, so this person wants to come in with an offer to this queen of wands because this queen of wands is exactly what this person need. This person need some type of another spark. So let's see. Let's see. This person want to give an offer to their twin flame, but they can't because I don't think the twin flame, whoever the twin flame is, Sagittarius, I don't know if it's you, Sagittarius, but whoever this twin flame is, they're making it a little difficult to come in with that offer. Yeah, they're making it difficult to come in with that offer. Okay. Ooh. They're making it difficult to come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. We got the hangman in the upright. We got the king of swords in the upright. We got the knight of wands in the upright. We got the queen of swords in the reverse. And we have the empress in the upright. Yeah. This person wants to come in, but whoever the other twin flame is, they know this person is in a relationship. So the other twin flame is not giving in to this, not really giving in to this because this person here is in a, in a own um, queen of swords mode where this person like, Holding back, being Spanish, like, you know, not listening, not hearing it. But this person wants to come in and get this person pregnant. This person wants to put a baby in the twin flame to keep them around. They wants to give birth. Or even if it's not a baby, they wants to work or something. They just want to birth something with their twin flame. I think that this person, I think whoever this person is, they love their twin flame and they like their husband or wife. Whoever this person is, love their twin flame and they like their husband or wife. And whoever this person is wants to sit here and get pregnant for their twin flame, or their twin flame wants to get them pregnant. But I think that whoever this is, whoever the twin flame is, they're standing their ground. They're standing their grounds. They're not giving up to it. Giving up to this because they're standing their grounds because they probably feel like they don't want to come between someone and their marriage. They feel like they don't want to come between someone in their marriage and they probably analyze it and look at it. And whoever this person is married to, I think this person spiritual too. So this person know that the other person is their wife or their husband twin flame. They know. Even though they're not really in love with each other, I think they have a friendship where they do talk about things. Where they talk about things. Or uh, they, you know, 
have someone that's nosy, that's always in, like, you know, uh, probably, you know, did some spiritual, probably do terror or, or probably into the spiritual stuff, the magic and all, and probably know about this person's twin flame. And I see why this person have the nine of ones. So whoever this person is with probably causing all type of confusion in this twin flame world. Because whoever this person with have money. They both have money. They both financially stable. So they are causing, in the other twin flame, probably don't have as much as their husband or their wife. And whoever this is, know about they don't have as much. So this person causing all type of confusion or you know, causing problems, you know, because you can see the nine of wands is someone who been through a lot, that been through a lot, that experience a lot, but, you know, just not giving up. And this person causing all type of confusion because even though this person don't love their wife or their husband, they just don't like the fact that of the twin flame, they probably don't like the other twin flame, or they probably just intimidated by the twin flame for some reason they're probably intimidated by the twin flame because even though they have all this material stuff this twin flame probably not doing bad but she but this twin flame probably don't have as much as they do and probably happy where they at and this other person probably feel like they have more or you know probably feel like you know they better or whatever and don't understand why this person so happy with what they have. And this making this person even more angry. And then this person probably checking out this twin flame. Probably, you know, doing all type of stuff. You know, probably doing all type of stuff. Probably got people watching, taking pictures. Probably see here. Um, just doing all type of stuff. Being in this person's business. And... This twin flame probably be attractive too. They both probably be attractive, but this twin flame probably be attractive and they probably seeing where their husband or wife is attractive to this person. They seeing where their husband or wife attracted to this person. And they don't like it. Even though they're not in love with each other, they probably been with each other. Probably, like I say, built with each other. And I don't think they like that. I don't think they like it. So I can see that this here is a twin flame situation. And I don't think the person partner like that situation. Because they're connecting with their twin flame it just at the wrong timing and if this twin flame give into this this person gonna deal with this twin flame if this twin flame give into it this person gonna deal with it now i can see where both of them might be causing confusion in this twin flame this person might be doing causing confusion in this twin being mean uh you know saying with the queen of soul in the reverse saying all type of stuff because this person probably won't the twin flame and don't like the fact that the twin flame not give it in give it into this but i can also see where i just think that if this person just go and talk with the twin flame just go and have a talk with this twin flame instead of playing all of these games. I think that they probably can have, you know, even if they don't have a relationship, or not, I think they can have, like, a friendship. I can see a friendship with this. I can see, you know, all twin flames don't have to sleep with each other, but they can have a good friendship with each other. Like, because they have something that each other need like they both need each other in some type of way so i can see that i can see it but we got the night the king of wands in the reverse so this person i won't sit here and just talk this person want to sit here and 
Call a buddy. <laughs> That's what I see. So this card say, your your the fifth chakra throw shock. If you pull this card, your throw chakra needs your attention. This card means you need to move your body so the energy can flow through by doing yoga or dancing. Your throat chakra is located in a throat area. Your throat is blocked because you are not communicating and expressing yourself. Your throat chakra color is blue. Wear blue colors and eat raw vegetables and fruits. That's what I'm saying. Like, go talk because you're not communicating. So that's blocking your throat chakra. Time to fast. If you pull this card, confirmation, you need to clear your body out. This card means you are having too much of processed food in your system. You need to go on a spiritual fast and connect with your spiritual team. Your health is at risk. You need to fast out the toxins in your body. Time to self-heal yourself and build your body, mind, and soul up again. Yeah, you probably need to fast out. You know, you probably need to fast, but you're probably blocking your throat chakra because whoever this is, they're blocking their throat chakra because they're not communicating. You have raw your blood. If you pull this card, you come from a bloodline of emperors and empress. Emperors and empress. I'm about to say the empress on this board. You're to inflame the emperor, empress. And that means that you or whoever this is, they're the empress. This card means time for you to be a leader in some way. You are here to help the people around you to become better. You are not meant to work for no one. You always was a chosen one. You are an old soul. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You know, when Twin Flames comes, you know, y'all have, y'all go way back. Y'all have lived many a lives. Y'all so have connected plenty of times, not only on earth and other dimensions and planets and, you know, other parts of this universe, you know. And y'all have did plenty of life lessons with each other. Y'all have did a lot of life lessons with each other. And if, and nowadays, a lot of twin flames is waking up because we're going through this new shift, you know, to the fifth dimension, this new world. Things are changing. And if you wake up, that means that y'all have a lot of soul healing that y'all have to do. But that don't mean that all twin flame relationships are you know, meant to last. Some are here to help each other fix out, you know, karmas, past karmas, you know. And some twin flame relationships can be toxic, especially if they're involved with someone else and they have a feeling too. So that's like having y'all, you know, having a third party relationship, you know. But it can be magical, but some twin flame relationships can be like really dramatic. Like it could be like a bomb, like where it's like, it can be where y'all tan each other down. Y'all trying to hurt each other. Y'all trying to control each other, you know. But it can be not all twins flame that's in a marriage or something, some third party. Because, you know, some husbands, you know, can have more than one or two wives. They can have more than, especially if you Muslims. I think a lot of Muslims have three and four wives. So it's all about how y'all relationship are with each other. So, you know, a twin flame relationship can be beautiful or it can just be toxic. <clears throat> but if y'all woke up together in this light, that means y'all are here to do something together. Y'all here to help elevate each other in some type of way. But what I can see, one of the twin flames, Drow Shaka, is blocked. They're not communicating. They're not talking their truth. They're not walking their truth. They're not saying what they need to say. And both of y'all have raw your blood. He's uh she he's the emperor and you's the empress. Like y'all are both of y'all are powerful. Y'all come from some real raw your bloodline. Like y'all both are real powerful. And y'all probably need to fast because y'all probably have y'all energy probably be low. One of y'all energy probably low. And y'all probably need to clear out these toxins and stuff so y'all can sit here and get on board because y'all frequencies might be out. One energy might be up here and the other energy might be down here. So y'all not leveling up with each other. 
So one of y'all probably needs to fast and stuff and clear out all that toxins so y'all can get back grounded and connect you with your higher self, you know. But this is what I'm getting. I'm getting a twin flame. I know this reading is not going to resonate with everybody. But this Sagittarius reading is for a twin flame. And someone twin flame, they know about their twin flame. And they are in a marriage. So I see where, what I just see, I see somebody who needs to go and talk and just talk to their twin flame. Because y'all so have connected, y'all so know each other. So if you come real, your soul going to forgive it. Your soul going to accept it because y'all know each other. So y'all don't even need to sit here and play no games with each other. Just talk and be real with each other, you know? Well, I am your tarot reader, Mrs. Kitty. If you like how I'm coming, hit the thumbs button, hit that like button, hit that heart button. You know, share my video because somebody may even need to hear this. Follow me, subscribe to my channel, and like I say all the time, keep your vibration high and don't entertain no drama. Until next time, peace, my babies. <laughs> to spiritual time.